The last piece of our read forecast task class is our read forecast method, which receives as its parameter the JSON reader that represents the stream of JSON formatted data that we've already begun processing in the do and background method, which you saw a couple of videos ago. Now, uh, because we already started the processing on that JSON reader, when we enter this method and go into its try block, the first thing we do is call the reader's begin array method to start reading the array of hourly weather data objects. And then within that array, we start reading the first object within the array. So again, going back to our web browser here, looking at the hourly forecast data, the main object is the forecast hourly list, and its value is an array of JSON objects and now we're starting to process this first JSON object and that first one is the only one that we're going to actually display data for in this case. So uh, we begin reading the object and as long as there's a next key value pair uh, inside of that object we get the name of the key and then we have some if else logic that we use here to figure out which um, piece of data this represents, if any. So if the name is the temperature string, then we read that string and store it in temperature string. If the name is the feels like um, key, then we store the string value for feels like in the feels like string. If the name is humidity, we store the next string in the humidity uh, instance variable. And if the name is chance of precip precipitation, then we store that string in the chance of precipitation variable. And then finally, if the name is that it's the icon, then we go ahead and get the icon bitmap based on the reader.nextString value, which is the condition string that helps determine which image to download from the Weatherbug web services. Finally, if it's none of those, we simply skip the value and move on to the next key value pair in the object. And when we reach the closing curly brace of the object, then the hasNext method of our reader will uh, return false in this case, which means we've reached the end of the uh, JSON object that represents the current hourly weather condition and at that point we are then done processing the data and uh, the data can be displayed on the screen as you saw back in the on post execute method.